Okay team, Bywater here with uh, what's the magic number? So here I'm looking at a three-sided shape, a four-sided shape, that's what N stands for, side lengths, and a five-sided shape. And my question for all you watching is, what's the magic number? So let's start with the triangle. This is something you just have to remember. Commit it to your brain, but the interior angle sum of a triangle is always 180, that's a magical number, all right? So if I was trying to solve for x in this case, I'd set up an equation, angle plus angle plus angle equals 180. Four-sided shape, the magical number is 360. For a five-sided shape, the magical number is 540. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, gosh, Mr. Bywater, it'd be nice if there was a way I could somehow predict what the magical number is for different sided polygons. And to you I say, fortunately there is. To find the interior angle sum of a polygon, like I said, you have to remember a triangle is 180. Every time you add a side, you have to also add 180 degrees to your magical number. Add a side, add another 180 degrees. Now there's also this super fancy formula you can use like to help you in case you had to find the angle sum of some kind of a hundred sided polygon or something like that. And that is this formula. The angle sum is equal to the number of sides minus two times 180. So let's take this five sided shape for example. Let's pretend that, let's pretend that it's a five sided shape. So N must be five. What's five minus two? Three. Yes, it is three. Good. What's three times 180? 540. Yes, good. Yes, it is. So here is your angle sum formula. Now, uh, here is the curveball for magical numbers. Here's the curveball. Let's look at this shape here. That's a five-sided shape. We just did the math on that. It should add up to 540. However, that's for interior angles. These are all interior angles. These are all on the inside. Inside, inside. These are on the outside. If they're exterior angles, and this is nice, the magical number is always 360. It doesn't matter if it's a triangle, a square, a pentagon, a hexagon, a duodecagon, any kind of sided polygon, the magical number will always be 360. Okay team, hope this helps you study for chapter three by Water Out.